Uh, hi, Emily. Um, sorry to say this, but James is mine now. He said that he wants to marry me and not you. What? Seems like yesterday was your third anniversary, but he didn't show up at the restaurant. Plus, you couldn't reach him, right? He was with me, actually. You're kidding, right? I'm telling you the truth. You were going to marry him soon, right? Sorry. Why would you do this? We were best friends in middle school. Let me tell you the truth. I couldn't stand you marrying before me and to a rich guy. Also, it's frustrating to not have a boyfriend at 30 years old. Age doesn't matter when it comes to love, you know. You will find someone one day and get married. Shut up! Are you making fun of me? Of course not. If you knew about this, why didn't you congratulate me? It's normal for friends to do that, you know. Anyways, you have no problem breaking our long-time friendship because of this? Money is more important than friendship, so I don't care. Money? You were a great friend, but I never received a friend allowance from you. James, on the other hand, is going to give me an allowance and also promise to spoil me even for our anniversary and birthday. Has he ever done this to you? I don't think so. <laughs> so, I don't really care about friendship anymore. Wow. So, um, yeah, he's done with you and so am I. So you are not invited to the wedding. If you want to see pics of the wedding, feel free to check my social media. Did I tell you my account? I will send you it just in case. James, I just got a chat from Brittany that you guys spent the night together. Are you serious? What? If you wanted to break up with me, then just say so, you asshole. Don't you dare ignore my calls. Damn, I thought you were crying in the corner eating a lot of ice cream. See, this is why you got dumped, Emily. Uh, what are you talking about? got dumped? Well, I will apologize for cheating on you, but I met a woman who is a million times better than you. Isn't it normal for a guy wanting to marry a hot woman? Um, are you telling me to forgive you? You're kidding me, right? Hey, can you blame me? Brittany is so much hotter than you. I didn't know you had a friend who once won the beauty contest. You don't feel bad for me at all? Your attitude is really disgusting. Aren't you the one that said to spit everything out? Well, I did apologize. Uh, one more thing. You've been dating for three years, so I still have feelings for you. So, if you can't find anyone, I can be your second husband. Excuse me? You should be thankful, don't lie. You're happy, right? Shut the fuck up. Second husband? Are you kidding me? No, thank you. We're done as of today. Don't contact me anymore. Are you sure you want to break up with a rich guy like me? Well, don't be crying for help in the future. You too. Who cares if you are rich? What you did deserves a punch in the face. Karma will happen someday, you know. When that happens, please don't cry and come apologize, because it will be too late. Wow. A speech from a girl that just got dumped. <laughs> I never regretted anything in my life, so... Anyways, I'll block you as you wish. Bye. Good luck finding a guy who's better than me, which you never will. <laughs> Emily, I have big news. James and I officially got married. Congratulations. You guys are meant for each other because you two are trash. Are you jealous? <laughs> well, James is mine now, so we are going to be celebrities and we'll enjoy life. <laughs> I'm not jealous at all, actually. Oh my god, guess what? He's going to give me a diamond ring for the wedding. We went to go see diamonds yesterday and let me tell you, there were so many to choose from. He even said that any ring will look good on me. How sweet is that? Yeah, that is really sweet of him. Right? I was so embarrassed because everyone could hear him. 
but I love how he says his feelings without worrying about where he is. He even says I love you every day in a car. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about a private car with a personal driver, not a regular one, okay? James gave it to me as a gift for the wedding. What? He never even gave me anything when we got engaged. Oh no, really? That seems like he never loved you. No, that's not possible. I think it's because he loves me more. Hmm, maybe so. Sorry for being his happy. I am so glad that I stole him away from you, otherwise I wouldn't be able to live this life. Well, I'm glad that you are happy even though you lost a friend. Yes, you should hurry up and get married, Emily. A few of my friends got married last month, so... Should I tell you what I did to find a future husband? I can tell you if you want to. Excuse me? Let me tell you what I did. I started dating app and searched for guys all day, went to at least 10 marriage counseling, and went on a blind date at least 3 times per week. Wow, you were desperate. Of course, I'm 30 this year, so I wanted to find a husband, which I did. A word of advice, guys love younger women, so don't be frustrated if no guys want to hook up with you, okay? Um... I had no idea that my happiness was so close. A rich husband, diamond ring, and I'm planning to buy a huge mansion. Will James buy it for you? Nope. Actually, his parents will. What? This is the life of a rich family, Emily. I am so excited. I am such a winner in life. <laughs> he doesn't have parents, by the way. What? So I think the huge mansion is out of the question. Wait, what do you mean he doesn't have parents? He still does. I met with them when we announced our marriage. I never said they were dead. <laughs> they got ties with him. What are you talking about? <laughs> think about it. Cheating with a fiancé's best friend and making a joke of being the second husband. This definitely will make anyone pissed. What? His parents said that they don't need a stupid ass son, so they cut ties right after talking to me. Wait, James made a joke of being the second husband? Yeah, he thought that I still loved him after three years, but I of course said no. Wait, so he wants to keep you while he is married to me? What the f fuck? Wait, Stop lying to me. Why is this happening? All he did was call off the engagement. Did you really just say that? Yes. Didn't you hear me? All he did was meet the love of his life, which is me, and called off the engagement just before the wedding. Why would his parents cut ties? They are terrible parents because he should be taking over their company. Just because they are blood-related doesn't mean that he will take over. What year are you living in? Uh huh? His parents didn't want him to take over the company from a long time ago. He causes way too much trouble. Seriously? After I started dating James, his parents told me many times that the company will not be family-owned. So if you want to be a boss's wife, you should find someone else. What? <laughs> Let's be honest here. Do you think that James will be a good CEO with that attitude and the things he says? If the parents really wanted him to take over, he should have been raised strictly. Uh, you're right. His parents raised him freely, but taught manners first. In the beginning, I was worried because he doesn't know the real world. But I was told from his parents that if he causes some kind of trouble, they have money, so I don't need to worry about anything. This is the reason why I decided to marry him. They also told me to tell them if something happened. Wait, do not tell me that you snitched about us being friends and how I stole James away from you to his parents. That's exactly what I did. I wanted you to pay the consolation money for infidelity. 
but his parents paid me, saying they blamed themselves for raising a horrible person and how they were done with him. What? Are you serious? Yep. So, um, yeah. Good luck with everything. Emily, my parents are yelling at me. Please help me. They told me that I can't take over the company and how they're going to cut ties with me. All I did was call off the engagement. <laughs> wow. You just said the same thing as Brittany. You don't know how serious this is, do you? I just broke up with you. That's it. Why can't I use my credit card? I also just got fired from the affiliated company of my parents. I thought that I would be taking over my parents' company, but that's not happening. Why? Maybe this is a good time to think about it. What? You have a brain, so think about what you did and why it happened. If I apologize, would things be the same as before? Will my parents forgive me? Will they let me take over the company? <laughs> How should I know? They are your parents, not mine. You know them best. What should I do? Once they say something, they mean it. Why don't you ask Brittany? <laughs> well... This is not my problem, so I will excuse myself. Emily, please help me. James' parents really cut ties with him. I can't live a celebrity life anymore. He is crying right now because he doesn't have a job and don't have money that he can use for whatever he wants. <laughs> Isn't it your job to comfort and help him? Aren't you his wife? Why should I do that? I'm the one who wants to cry. My celebrity life just ended with a blink of an eye. I also got an invoice with a large amount of money on it. Invoice? James's parents sent it to us. It's actually the consolation money they paid you. They said they paid for me, so I need to pay back. Oh, that sucks. I received ten million dollars, by the way. <laughs> I know that. Why do I need to pay back? They paid it with their own will but decided to send me an invoice for it later on. Oh, come on. They even sent me an invoice for the wedding ring. It's only been a few days since getting married and I'm in tens of thousands of debts already. I don't deserve this. Oh, wow. That really sucks. Is the ring you're talking about the one you were boasting about? Yes. That ring with a huge diamond on it. I thought that James paid it from his own money, but it was actually his parents. Oh. The parents said that they have no intention of paying it. What should I do, Emily? Please help me. I wanted to return the ring, but the store told me no refund. So I had no choice but to pay back James's parents. Um, you should stop acting like a victim. James's parents and the people at the ring shop didn't do anything wrong. It was wrong of you guys not paying from your own money. Uh, I don't want to pay this. I just got married. I can't believe this. Then why don't you get a divorce? He's so broke, so he can't help you. I know that, but I can't. I finally got married at 30 years old, so I don't want to get divorced this fast. Um, okay. Good luck then. If you live in a cheap apartment, maybe you should be able to save up money and pay back his parents someday. No, please! Why are you being such a bitch? Aren't we friends? Don't you have kind words like, I should lend you money, or do you want to stay at my place? I am in trouble. You don't want to help me? What friend? What? I don't have a friend anymore. I don't have a friend since someone stole my fiancé away from me. Oh, um... I guess I should be going now. Since you are not my friend anymore, I will block you. No, please! Emily! Bye! I'm sure you will be happy with your life. Try not to end up like James, okay? I blocked both Brittany and James. Since then, nothing has happened and I am living a peaceful life. On the other hand, they had to sell whatever they had and work hard to pay off the debt. 
but still had debt of two million dollars. James started panicking and called every friend on his phone to see if there were any jobs that they can offer him, but was told from James's parents not to help him. So he went to Brittany's company and started to work there, and looks like they are working hard. He is getting yelled at almost every day from the boss who is younger than him for making the same mistake. Brittany is getting disgusted with him, but every single day, she says. My marriage is not a mistake. I deserve to be happy in the end. Sorry, but I have to laugh at this. 